Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thanks to the ranking member as well. Uh, Mr. Golding, thanks for joining us today. Uh, I have, have a chart I'd like to direct your attention to, if we can get that up. Uh, my first question, Mr. Golding, is this. Um, first of all, thanks for the good news you shared. Uh, it's clear that FHA is in uh, good financial health. FHA uh, Mortgages Insurance Fund continues to grow stronger. That's a good thing. And uh, we appreciate your team's effort to reduce risk, improve recoveries, and lower premiums. In my community in Minnesota and around the nation, FHA remains a critical source of sustainable credit for American families. So here's what I'd like to ask you. It's out that nearly 12 million uh, low-income people pay more than half their income for rent. And according to Harvard Joint Center for Housing Studies report, one in two households spend more than 30 percent of their gross income on rent and utilities. One in four households pay more than 50 percent of their gross income for rent and utilities. And in my district, we have more than 10,000 low-income families on, assist, on a waiting list for assisted housing. Uh, so uh, could you talk to us about what the FHA is doing to help us address the dire rental housing crisis for low-income families? And what more could the FHA do? Thank you for the question. And uh, if you add in utilities, the number goes to over 11 million, paying over half. So if we are, as you point out, uh, definitely in a rental crisis. Um, on that, FHA um, and HUD in general, but FHA uh, specifically, is uh, on its multifamily program. Uh, we support construction uh, through uh, of new properties. We, in fact, recently reduced for affordable properties. And, uh, we reduced the insurance premium in order to attract more capital into that uh, sector so that we would get more construction, more units, and more proceeds uh, for rehab also. So it's not just the construction, but it's the substantial rehab. And our multifamily program is continuing uh, to focus uh, on that area. Uh, as you know, our rental assistance demonstration program uh, is also putting more capital. We're nearing the $2 billion uh, and about 35,000 units preserved uh, in terms of affordable housing. But with those numbers up there, we clearly are only chipping away at what is a huge problem. Thank you very much. Let me ask you now about manufactured housing finance. A year ago, Consumer Financial Protection Bureau published a report noting that manufactured home buyers have more expensive loans. Uh, it noted that two of three manufacturing homeowners eligible for mortgage finance with more expensive personal property loans instead. On the screen is a CFPB chart on FHA requirements for manufactured home loans. Can you briefly explain the types of financing FHA provides to manufactured home buyers? Uh, yeah, we do have both Title I and Title II loans for manufactured housing. Uh, Title II requires that it be real property, and uh, Title I will uh, also be for just for property that's chattel. Uh, we do try to provide uh, financing to uh, through both of those FHA programs. And, you know, the CFPB report said that the FHA guaranteed loans constituted about a fifth of the manufacturing. Uh, housing loans for home purchases in 2012. That seems a little low, especially about half of all African American and Hispanic households seeking mortgages have relied on FHA for financing since 2008, contrast 20 percent to 50 percent. What can the FHA do to improve the financing options for people who buy manufactured homes? Uh, it is an area where the demand has been declining. Uh, we will, uh, I do, will commit to working with you and your office to see what more uh, we can do in this area. As you point out, it is an important source of affordable first-time home ownership. So uh, real quickly, in Minnesota we have eight manufactured home communities that are resident-owned, which we are very proud of. Uh, can FHA help those residents buy their property? Uh, again, thank you for the question. I will have to uh, work with you on that. be a good thing if we could. Thank you. The gentleman's time has expired. With that, we go to the uh, gentleman from New Jersey, Mr. Garrett, uh, Chairman of the 